It's been a lot of fun here in Africa. And today being the fifth day of the hunt, we're halfway through. We've got five more days to go after today. Actually, I just got here, so we've got six days to hunt. And um, it's been a lot of fun. Africa is incredible. It's a really good place to be with the bow and arrow. I've often heard the wildebeest referred to as a poor man's buffalo. And because I'll never be able to afford a buffalo hunt, this bull looked just fine to me. Antonia told us that the oldest, most mature wildebeest bulls would travel by themselves. And when this one walked across the plain by himself and then was pushing these young Gemsbach away, I knew he was a bull that I'd want to take. All that I needed now was for him to turn broadside and present me with a shot. good. Yes. Big blue wildebeest. Big blue wildebeest. That's just what I've been looking for. My heart's beating fast. My hands are shaking. Man, is this wind blowing. Well, we got the blue wildebeest here. Um, I made a pretty good hit on him. Uh, he was quartering slightly to me, and I could have been forward a little bit. Uh, we trailed him, got on him about an hour after I hit him, and we did jump him, and I had to put another couple of arrows into him. The first one wasn't too good at all, but the second one found its mark, and sometimes that happens. It's unfortunate, but a real nice, beautiful blue wildebeest. On this hunt, my father's back in the pit blind, and he's got his eyes on this red heart of beast. As the bull pulls around broadside, Dad gets ready for a shot. Just shot a hearty beast bull. The shot looks pretty good, a little bit high, but the four and a half looks pretty good. Uh, got the pH coming in, so we'll see what happens here. We'll get them come in and uh, we'll pick up the trail. You wish me luck. We're tracking Dick's bull here with zero blood. Some blood there. It's amazing how these. I like to see that. It's amazing how these guys track. There hasn't been any blood for a while. I know. They. It's not very big though, huh? Small one. No, it's big. It, it's a big bull. Yeah. I'm going to get it. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Are you teasing me? A bus. A bus. Is this piece of the? It's a very really big one. It is? Mm. Yeah. It is. Thank you. Thank you. That's the exit, so I guess the hit wasn't too bad. Now. Move it 
should have been a little bit lower? Yeah. I think I got a stack too for the armpit. Uh, it's pretty wide open here, a lot different than what I've been hunting was pretty brushed up. But here, it's uh, this is where the old farmstead was on the property when Antoni first bought it from his father. They lived here for a while, and now where we're staying, they've been there for about nine years. But this is where the original homestead was, and the old foundation's all rubble over there. But this must have been all cattle pasture at one time. And that's what Antoni used to do for a living, is run beef cattle. And he has some beef cattle on some separate property, but right now, um, all he's doing is a hunting operation. He's got quite an operation here. It's small, it's very personable, very nice person. Him and his family and three kids live out here. And I could get used to this African lifestyle, that's for sure. This is awesome. This Gemsbach is actually a female. They have longer, thinner horns, whereas the males have shorter, thicker horns. But her horns were so much longer and more impressive than the other Gemsbach that I was seeing that I thought if she'd come in, I'd go ahead and try and take her. In slow motion here, you can see the blood behind her left front shoulder. She was quartering away hard, and the broadhead exited just behind it. Man, I hit that Gemsbach. I hit that Gemsbach, but it looks like a little bit back. Darn it. I'll have to see what happens. I saw good blood coming out the opposite side, so maybe I caught a lung or something, but... It was tough. Hopefully things will work out. I reviewed the tape, and <laughs> she wasn't on camera when I shot. I thought I thought the the camera angle was good, but I had stepped away from the camera and I had to stop her. I made a little noise to stop her. Um, so I, I can't even review the hit. But when I shot, it looked like it was back. Although when I reviewed the camera, I saw her running running away. I think you can see it too. You can see blood behind her left side shoulder, the opposite side shoulder, and she was quartering away pretty good when I shot. So hopefully we're going to luck out here. I know the broadhead went to the other side of her, and um, that Wenzel Woodsman's done good so far, so hopefully, hopefully it'll do the job this time. Not a perfect shot, but I think we'll do okay with it. The hit was a little far back, but it was angled up pretty hard. I lucked out. It was uh, she stepped forward when I was filming. I just um, I, w I was drawn as she stepped and I shot. She stepped out of camera. I shot. I hit back, um, but it worked out in the end. I didn't have to shoot her again. She she died on her own. But a nice gems buck. Or Oryx, I guess. She looks pretty good. Is she a good one? Yeah, good. Very I good. She was. Nice. Thanks, Antoni. Man, oh. look at those daggers. They're long. Unbelievable. Just a beautiful animal. This Africa hunting is outstanding. Hey. Absolutely outstanding. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you. Now we'll join my father at the homestead blind. And he's got a really nice kudu bowl in front of him. The kudu bowl 
and these kudu cows are feeding on a mineral supplement that Antoni puts out for them year round. It accounts for his good, high quality animals. The best thing a bow hunter can see after releasing an arrow is watching the animal go down. I'm elated. I really am. Uh, I definitely wanted a kudu. To me, they represent Africa. Uh, I know a lot of other people say the lion or the giraffe or zebra. Uh, Everybody has their own opinion. Shot for me. And uh, fortunately, I made a good hit on this one. Didn't go 70, 80 yards. I watched the pile up. I'm real, real pleased. Thanks again to uh, Antoni Lowe and Macalon Safaris here. They've done an excellent job as far as I'm concerned. I'm not chasing cows. African cowboy, you've traded in your horse. You're traveling now by four-wheel drive, and steady is your course.